this is part of the bird series that I'm gonna teach you. And this is different because normally on Patreon we have voiceover tutorials. And here I have way more water now. I have way more water. This is what it looks like on my palette and my brush. And I'm just going to go like this, just to add that. You know, when I say violet, that's the cobalt blue with quin red. So some of the cobalt blue, quin red, a little bit of that Van Dyke brown and quin red too, because I didn't clean my brush. Drop a little bit of that color here. And this is where we're gonna shape the bottom part of it. So I'm gonna clean my brush. I'm just gonna use water on the bottom. So you don't overwork the, the wings because I don't want to. Clean my brush. And then two. This is Harmony Watercolor Paper by Honey Mule. So Honey Mule has so many different uh, watercolor papers, and this is rough actually. Amy does along yellow, follow blue, and quin red. And this is where I am actually going to leave a little more of that area paper white. What I want to really do, I'm tempted to do, is add some darks here before it dries. I don't know if it's too late, but I'm going to take my chance and add some of the indigo follow blue. Um, there's some um, Van Dyke brown too. Like on my YouTube channel, it's always it has always been the same. So I've always started like with a cool, but it's kind of like that moment when you're so into it and you're trying to uh, catch all these, put all these elements together. So I kind of got in a moment to create these wings and I'm going really loose. But you wanna pay attention to like how things are drying and this paper is drying extremely fast and it's super easy to create blooms. And I'm okay with it because that's the project. Like I chose this paper based on the fact that I added some water. Now I'm grabbing with this quill brush, this is some of the, um, New, uh, sub green, hooker's green, all my greens, I kind of like just loaded it. And then viridian hue with some follow blue and uh, cobalt blue. It's kind of like a whole bunch of colors on my brush. And this is like the color part of the hummingbird. Here I can go back. I'm going to actually add more color, especially that I have a color. So I just grabbed some of the cobalt blue too. Now let's see, the wing is going to start somewhere here. So like that. Mm -hmm. 